If you want to see the unboxing, assembly, and review of the Sunon Back Mesh Adjustable Computer Desk Chair that doesn't break the bank, then watch this video. Hi, Gary Cruz with GaryCruz.com. If you're new to my channel, I do everyday gadget and technology reviews. Today, I'll be reviewing the computer desk mesh chair by Shunan that we've been using for a few weeks now. You probably saw this chair paired with our new standing desk. If you haven't seen that video, be sure to see the description below to find out where you can watch that video and buy this chair on Amazon. Starting with the unboxing. Here are the included instructions that have four simple steps. Next up is the right armrest. It is made of some hard, durable plastic. These are the included casters. And here's the center pneumatic hub. Here's the seat cushion. And now the mesh backrest. The five spoke legs. And the seat lifting bar. Here's a wider view of everything included. Now that we have an inventory of what's in the box, it's always a good idea to check if everything is as expected with the manual before assembling. I'll overlay the manual graphics for each step of the way. You can always pause the video to compare steps. Assembly. Step one, attach the armrests. The first step is to attach the armrest to the seat cushion. The chair includes a hex wrench tool, but I used an impact drill with the same size bit to help with the assembly. Be very careful not to over tighten the bolts since the metal screws can bite into the hard plastic. There are six screws in total for both armrests. Step two, attach the lift control mechanism. Now attach the control arm with the four screws and washers. To aid in my install, I placed a box underneath so that I had additional support. Step three, attach the mesh back. While the chair is upside down, screw the four screws and washers into the seat cushion. Step four, attach the legs to the post. Just push the five wheels into the spoke of each leg. Then attach the pole to the center of the legs. Then take the chair assembly and place on top of the pole. First, let's go over some measurements. From the armrest, it's 24 inches and 5 eighths. From the bottom of the chair to the top of the back mesh is 39 inches and 1 eighths. And the widest part of the seat is 19 inches and 1 fourths. From the lowest setting to the top of the seat cushion, it's 18 inches. With the highest setting to the top of the seat cushion, it's 21 inches and 7 eighths. Here's the close up of the control mechanism. Overall, this is a good adjustable chair compared to my Herman Miller Mira 2 which costs 10 times as much, the seat cushion is much more comfortable, especially if you're like me and like to cross your ankle under a leg. The mesh back has great support and good airflow to keep your back cool during long desk sessions. There isn't much to complain about and it's very comfortable when you have your back against it. The hydraulic cylinder has been very solid with multiple adjustments. I have a feeling this will last a long time.
Now, would I recommend this or purchase it again at this price point? Absolutely yes. It's a stylish chair with great customer support. If you found this review helpful, be sure to hit the like button to let YouTube know that you're interested in this type of content and please consider subscribing and turning the notifications on on the way out. Thanks for watching.